Namaste. This is Elizabeth, and I am here to guide you through a practice of Yoga Nidra to help activate and awaken the Ajna Chakra, the third eye. This chakra establishes a connection with the external world through the inner vision. Focusing on the third eye motivates us to move beyond the worldly desire and distractions. When the Ajna Chakra is awakened, it increases consciousness and transcends us to a higher realm, tapping into our true wisdoms and inner knowledge. This then activates a space of self-realization, inspiration and imagination. The soundtrack to this meditation is set to the tone of A, the note that helps activate that space of the mind's eye. And if you have a practice of working with essential oils, I invite you to pause this meditation and take a moment to apply a couple of drops of your favorite oil onto the space between the brows. Now let's take a moment to set our space for this beautiful activation and deep rest, yogic sleep, where we will remain awake and aware, where all layers of self will find deep states of relaxation. Moving us through to the subtlest states within, experiencing our multi-dimensional selves. Yoga Nidra is a practice that is mostly done lying down, perhaps in the position of Shavasana. However, as we are working with the chakra, the third eye, If it feels cold to keep the spine straight, perhaps take yourself up against a wall and bring some cushions or pillows to feel that support of the spine so the body still feels and remains rested and relaxed. Take a moment to cozy yourself in. I invite you to close down the eyes. Our two eyes that bring us such a perspective of the world around us. As you bring the eyelids down, losing that distraction from the external, invite the sense of an inward gaze allowing it to sit comfortably and safely upon the light or dark space within that is starting to appear. When we start to lose the stimulus of the outside world, we give our nervous system permission to completely relax and restore. 
and we connect to a stimulus within that truly taps us into our higher self, bringing us to real natural states of being, healing and bliss. Take a moment just to scan through the whole body, letting the tissues of the face, the cheeks, the jaw, the mouth start to relax. Noticing the back of the head becoming more heavy into the neck and the shoulders. Moving down through the body, just feeling it. Deepening into states of relaxation. And then taking a moment for the awareness to reside within the center of the ears. Listening. Try to hear the furthest sound that you can hear and then gently guiding the awareness through the sounds to the sound of my voice. Resting your attention onto the sound of my voice, knowing that my guidance is safely holding you in this space of deep breath. Notice now your natural breath, perhaps the only part of you moving is the chest, rising and falling, its natural intelligence allowing you to breathe the body and mind, without any desire to change the breath. knowing that it's exactly where it needs to be in this moment. Just as you are exactly where you need to be in this moment. Let's start now to invite a deeper breath through the nose and an exhalation through the mouth. As you slowly inhale through the nose, start to invite that breath all the way to the center of the mind, between the two brows, the Ajna Chakra. Pausing that breath in that center for a moment. And then as you exhale through the mouth, allowing that breath to slowly anchor back down into the lungs. Again, inhaling the breath all the way through the belly, the chest, into the mind's eye, pausing. And then exhaling through the mouth. Let's go one more time, inhale as you invite that breath in, already starting to activate the center of the mind's eye. Exhale. And as you return to your natural breath, start to move more into sensation of the body, feeling already the sense of a deeper state of relaxation within you. The third eye, the sixth chakra, the Ajna chakra, the space between the brows, encompassing the eyes, the head, and 
becomes the lower part of the brain, an invisible yet powerful space within you, knowing that sat just behind is the pituitary gland which is often described as the seat of your soul. Notice the natural breath breathing the center of the mind's eye. Start to bring the sensations of your heart, almost breathing naturally the heart to the third eye and then breathing the third eye into the heart. As you feel this connection deepening within you, allow the intuition and deeper wisdoms of the mind's eye to start anchoring and resting upon the center of your heart, allowing any thoughts of the mind perhaps like clouds in the sky passing or leaves on a riverbed drifting away. Bring the attention to the space in between those thoughts and allow the somatic sensations to present to you your heart's desire your sankalpa, your intention for this practice. Knowing your sankalpa, described as a golden seed, is planted during this moment into the fertile soil of the subconscious mind. Our subconscious mind is most fertile when we are in this almost asleep state. Perhaps you have a sankalpa that has arisen, or perhaps you would like to offer, I am wise intuitive and connected to my inner guidance. I am wise, intuitive and connected to my inner guidance. Or simply, my thoughts are loving and positive and I am connected to my higher power. My thoughts are loving and positive, and I am connected to my higher power. Take a moment to mentally repeat your sankalpa three times, planting your golden seed into this fertile soil of your subconscious mind. As you feel the ripple of your sankalpa echo into the body and the space around the body, we begin a rotation of consciousness. Bring your awareness 
to your Arjuna Chakra. Already feeling the warmth of sensation between the center of your brows. Maybe taking a moment to just look that slight bit deeper within. And as you deepen the awareness, you start to notice an indigo blue light appearing within this space. The color of the Arjuna Chakra starting to appear. And know that if a color that is different appears, that is welcome. Perhaps your color appears a simple sensation, knowing there is no right or wrong in this moment. You accept as is. The vibrancy of the indigo color welcomes itself to you. Your inner wisdom of knowing, inviting you deeper within. The almost dark blue hues opens the door to the divine. Indigo, the color of wisdom and inner knowledge. I invite you to welcome this indigo color to join you, point by point, activating the deeper wisdoms and intuitions, the states of higher consciousness, the state of enlightenment, your deeper psychic vision your place of deeper knowing within you. You invite to every point of the body, allowing the ancient wisdoms and teachings of your physical body to be activated with this healing divine indigo light touching upon this divine essence point to point. Bring the awareness to the sensations within the mouth. Indigo blue light at the tip of your tongue. Back of the tongue. Inside the right cheek, inside the left cheek, the jaw, the teeth, the sensations within all of the mouth, right cheek, left cheek, indigo points of light. Your nose and the nasal flare breathing this indigo light, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling healing light. The right eye, the tiny tissues behind the right eye. The left eye, the tiny tissues behind the left eye. Right ear listening, indigo point of light. Left ear listening, indigo point of light. Top 
of the head, back of the head, the throat, the back of the throat, into the neck, indigo point of light, right collarbone, right shoulder, front of the upper arm, elbow, forearm, wrist, back of the hand and center of the palm, indigo point of light. Touching upon each finger, right thumb, first finger, second, third, fourth finger, tips of the fingers glowing with this healing light. of the forearm, elbow, back of the upper arm, shoulder blade, the space between the shoulder blades, left collarbone, left shoulder, front of upper arm, elbow, forearm, wrist, back of hand and center of palm, healing indigo light, left thumb, first finger, second, third, baby finger, the tips of all of the fingers and thumb glowing with healing indigo light, back of the arm, elbow, back of the upper arm, shoulder, shoulder blade, center of the chest, right side of the chest, right rib cage, right side of the waist, breathing, healing, indigo light, right hip bone, the girdle of the right hip, top of the thigh, knee, point of light, shin, ankle, top of the foot, sole of the foot, right big toe, second, third, fourth, baby toe, the sole of the foot and the tips of all of the toes illuminated with healing indigo light, back of the heel, calf, knee, back of the thigh, hip, navel center, center of the heart, activated and connected to the divine indigo light, 
left side chest, left side rib, waist, hip joint, the girdle of the left hip, healing indigo light. front of the thigh, knee, shin, ankle, top of the foot, bottom of the foot, big toe, second, third, fourth, baby toe. The sole of the foot and every single toe touched with healing indigo light. Back of the heel. Calf. Knee. Back of the thigh. Hip joint. The whole of the pelvic girdle activated and alive with healing light frequency, radiating with healing indigo light, tailbone, sacrum, lower back, middle back, upper back, the whole of the spinal column glowing with this beautiful divine wisdom of indigo light, Ajna Chakra, back of the neck, back of the mind's eye, the seat of the soul, the awareness upon the seat of the soul residing back into the space between the brows. Ajna Chakra. With this resting awareness in the center of the mind, start to feel the somatic sensation of just breath. There is nothing moving in this space other than the rise and the fall of the chest. The inhale and the exhale. The inhale creating space within you. The exhale guiding you within. No desire to change the breath, just sat with the company of breathing. Natural breath, rising and falling, effortless. And as you allow the rhythm of the breath to massage these sensations throughout the body, Start to guide the breath in its natural rhythm towards the mind's eye. Allowing again the breath to awaken Arjuna Chakra. The breath in, opening the space of the mind's eye the natural breath out, guiding you within. And as you breathe your natural breath, you breathe the third eye. 
it's as if you can feel the gentle air through the center of the mind's eye, inhaling and exhaling, each breath offering you an opportunity to fill the space within the mind's eye, to open, to open this invitation for you to bring the awareness deeper and deeper inside, inside its magnificence in the center of the mind, calm, unsurpassed beauty. Noting the purity of this moment, awakening this inner clarity within you. And as you breathe in and out, notice the breath, inhaling through the center of the forehead towards the back of the head, and then exhaling from the back of the head out through the third eye. Breathing space within the mind's eye. The insight of equanimity. Allowing each breath in through the center of the forehead. And each breath out through the center of the forehead. An opportunity to allow this vision to become clearer and clearer as you remain with this awareness, the infinite expansion it brings. Almost a sensation of floating in absolute stillness within. Floating upon sensation of peace, a river of bliss. Feeling air, breathing through the center of the mind in and out. Knowing this inner sky is becoming so much more apparent within you and that you are simply floating within this space. Then allow the body and its density on the ground beneath you. The heaviness, the form of the body, strong and solid on the ground beneath you. Its heaviness offering stillness. And then taking that awareness back to the sensations of floating effortless in this inner sky. And then returning to the sensations of the density of the body, grounded and present, lying here, held on the earth beneath you. Its solidity and weight, resting, peaceful, and bliss. And as you feel this almost sinking sensation of the weight of the body, you simultaneously bring yourself to the lightness within the mind. Finding the equanimity within you to feel heaviness and lightness Simultaneously, both sensations welcoming themselves to you. The heaviness and the lightness. Sensing opposites. Pratipaksha bhavana. Allow these opposite sensations to dissolve. Witness the stillness and the moment of simply being in the space of the mind's eye. 
your inner sky. Perhaps the darkness has welcomed itself as a comfortable resource to move inward, a place to take an inward perspective. The yin space within, like a dark, starless night, the infinite universe unfolding, simply feeling an eternity around you. Or perhaps your inner sky is a beautiful bright sky of light energy. Perhaps passing clouds, just like the thoughts, are simply naturally moving themselves past without any distraction from you. Your witness consciousness now present. An endless landscape unfolding in front of you. The expansion of self so now very apparent. Suddenly seeing becomes feeling as you activate your deepest intuitions. A new language of intuition, the language of seeing within you. Knowing that all the wisdoms and all of the answers lie within this space. A new perception beyond ordinary sight. the gate that leads to the inner realms and spaces of higher consciousnesses. And as the awareness resides within this moment, the power of your awareness boosts the perception of things that can't be seen by your eyes. This mystical eye is part of what is called the subtle body. Within the subtle body resides your prana, energy, life force. And as your inner sky becomes simply expansion, you again start to visualize or feel the sense of the indigo healing light activating your Ajna chakra your third eye, allowing the vision or sensation of this indigo light become brighter and brighter within you. It's almost as if you can feel the room around you filling with this incredible light force energy you are breathing from your third eye into the world. Knowing that this activation, allowing you to tap into your highest self for your highest good. Nothing to do but simply be here as the witness to this experience. Allowing the healing sounds of the frequency of your eye chakra to open fully. Your highest potential, ready and waiting for you. You take a moment here to simply rest within the sensation of this activation. Almost tingling within the center of the mind.
And within this deepest state, you take this opportunity to plant your seed, your sankalpa. I am wise, intuitive, and connected to my inner guidance. I am wise, intuitive, and connected to my inner guidance. Or, my thoughts are loving and positive, and I am connected to my higher power. My thoughts are loving and positive, and I am connected to my higher power. Mentally repeating your sankalpa three times. Planting your seed in the center of your subconscious mind. Allowing this to blossom into your life outside of this experience. Witness to this infinite wisdom and endless opportunity within you. Activating the imagination, the divine connection to spirit. And allowing your vision to come from the highest place within you. Knowing that this moment will allow you to see life through such a new pair of eyes. Healing the inner world to ripple out to the world around you. Wise one, Slowly bring the awareness back to the breath. And very slowly now invite a breath through the nose. All the way through into the mind's eye and then through the mouth. Again breathing in deep within the belly through into the center of the mind and exhaling the cool air through the mouth one more time and exhale With a whole new awareness within you of this beautiful body resting deeply. Knowing that every single part of this body is filled with the healing indigo light that we touched upon point to point. Fully activated. You divine being of indigo light. Take the thumb and first finger and touch upon each tip of the finger to the thumb. The sensation of touch inviting you back into the waking world. Give the toes a slight wiggle. Perhaps even just tapping on the third eye with the fingers to allow the sensations to wash through all of the mind. Tapping through the top of the head, the back of the head and just listening to the silence now within the mind. And just taking that sensation of touch maybe to the cheek and the jaw and just feeling the body's new vitality and vibrancy, this radiant glow that is apparent. 
Give yourself a nice big stretch. Bringing the knees to the chest and rolling onto one side if you are not already taking yourself to a seated meditation. And if it feels cool to stay here and perhaps receive any wisdoms or guidance through your divine connection, please take a moment just to pause in this moment of connection with your higher self. Knowing that at any time now you can reconnect with that deep truth and intelligence within. My name is Elizabeth and it was such an honor to guide you through that space of connection with soul. Yoga Nidra has been such an incredible healing modality in my life and I am so excited to bring you these spaces of healing and deep rest. I would really be so grateful if you could subscribe to my channel and support my work. Perhaps liking this meditation and maybe offering any comments. I am open to receive new ideas for new needles that perhaps are in your heart's desire. I hope you enjoyed this space and I look forward to meeting you here very soon. Namaste.